Hello and welcome to another episode of Build Fix Eat. Today we're going to be building this barbecue smoker attachment that goes on this rocket stove. Okay, let's get at it. Okay, we're gonna start with the main chamber of the little barbecue smoker that goes on the goes on the rocket stove. I've got some pre-cut plates here, just did by hand on plasma cutter, and we're gonna fit it up. I'm fitting an outside corner weld. I like fitting an outside corner weld. Makes it a lot easier for fitting, especially on this thinner plate. Now because I fit this box up on this surface, this face down here is going to be the flattest. So I'm going to keep this as my top. It's going to be my top. I'm just going to mark a T, mark a B. This surface isn't necessarily as flat as that one. So. Now right now the box is pretty square. But it won't be when I'm done welding it. So the box is square, but when I weld it, it's gonna probably wanna shrink, and these are likely gonna shrink and push on themselves. So I'm gonna put a brace in here with this clamp. I'm gonna spring it out just a hair. Cause I'm okay if it domes out a little. I just don't want it to cave in. I'm gonna I'm gonna weld up a few of the sides on this, let it cool down, then we'll flip it and do the same thing. We're gonna get the bottom prepped. My torch went off a bit there. So we're gonna fix that up. Then we're gonna lay out the center. And then if you remember, we built the, the frame for the quick attachment, which is right here. So we'll lay that out, cut that out, weld that on. Then we'll put some crosses on. Okay, get the hole cut out, cleaned up a little bit. Now we're gonna put some cross braces here on the bottom. And they are going to stiffen the bottom. But not only that, they are gonna deflect the air, the hot air that comes out. It's gonna come out here, and there's gonna be a plate on here, and it's gonna come out up and around. So we're gonna fit these on and weld them up.
Okay, we're gonna fit up the cooking grate that goes inside now. All right, she's welded up and square. We're gonna grind everything flush, and then we'll put the mesh on it. Okay, now we're gonna trim off the excess, just using a zip disc. Okay, we're gonna work on the top. This is the top lid that'll go on. Now it's pretty thin. It's 11 gauge material, and I'm worried that it might warp. So we're gonna reinforce the corners with some flat bar. Now instead of actually fillet welding the flat bar, I've drilled some holes in it, and we're gonna plug weld it. That'll help minimize the distortion, but stiffen the door. So to hold the cooking grate, we need something to prop it up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill and tap holes <clears throat> with one inch bolts that'll go through, screw through here, and then the grate will sit on them. So I'm just gonna lay them out. I want them to be six inches from the top. So I've got this square preset, six inches. And then I want them one inch from the edge. So I got this one preset for an inch. Just putting the gasket on. Not sure if I need one, but. Last thing to do is put on a little handle.
All right, I'm gonna paint this up and then uh, we'll go fire it up. Okay, she's all painted up. Let's put it together and fire it up. I'll put a few pieces of charcoal on the bottom just to help get, get the good heat going. Gotta stick a couple in there. How's that? Yeah. See how that works. I'm going to put the deflector plate in now. Alright, well she's been holding 300 now for about 45 minutes, so... I'm going to throw some chicken on. These have been on here for about an hour. Figure now I can take a peek. Oh yeah, they're coming along. Been another hour yet, I figure, maybe half hour. We'll see. Alright. Drums have been on there for about two hours now. Drum and leg. Oh yeah, they look good. Perfect. I like them up to about 200. I don't like them slimy. Yeah, perfect. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Here's a, you know, a little something you can do with your rocket stove. If you're bored and feel like doing something in the shop. All righty, we'll catch you on the next one.